The substitute teacher's abuse case will now head to trial after she pleaded not guilty this morning in a Florence County courtroom. She also made a request in court and the victim's family actually on board with that request. Our Eric Richards was inside the courtroom as well, takes a look at what's next in this case. Any type of disappointment today that this is not resolved? Not at all. Mm -hmm. We, uh, I think we kind of expected this outcome. Mm -hmm. And that's fair. Cheryl Wiggins Filia appeared in court Wednesday morning where she pleaded not guilty to charges of third degree assault. Not guilty. Not guilty. Do you want a jury trial or a bench trial in order to handle your case? A bench trial. Filia requested a bench trial, which means instead of a jury hearing the case and reaching a verdict, it will be the judge's decision. A judge will be presented evidence of what happened on May 20th at Savannah Grove Elementary School. A police report states there was a confrontation between Filia and a student while she was a substitute teacher. The report claims Filia, quote, got into it with students and pushed one child out of a chair, causing her to fall and hit her face. And how are the kids doing? I think they're holding up under the best circumstances that they can and it's really unfortunate that you know we couldn't bring them a little bit of closure today. Magistrate Judge Frank White said he couldn't proceed with the bench trial today because the victims were not present. Philia declined to comment after the hearing and remains out of jail on bond. It's unclear at this point when her next court appearance will be. In Florence, Eric Richards, WMBF News.